the other uh, demonstration I want to do here is transferring a larger file. It's it's relatively fast. This is a three megabyte image that's on the switch here. Old, small, yet effective. Uh, so I'm gonna. This time we'll do it by sourcing the file name initially here and the the command itself. So I'm gonna copy that and then paste it down there and specify we want to send it out TFTP out to the 192.168.1.100 and we'll maintain that original file name you can see it's sending across via TFTP in Cisco those exclamation points are always a good sign in the background we can see here the the file is being created should end up right around three megabytes when it's done and 21 seconds to back up a three meg file that's that's not bad at all there are a lot of images out there that get pretty hefty in size but you know 21 seconds that's hardly any time and uh, I think the image that's running on the uh, virtual router here is about 30 megabytes so even then you're not looking at a very long period of time to get that uh, backed up on an off-site location you always want to have backups that's one of the main uh, aspects of security is having backups and you know doing backups on a regular base basis to kind of wrap things up and conclude this short video I want to mention uh, the service X modem you saw here on the switch I can copy to or from X modem early on when I first got these switches I ran into a problem uh, where I ended up deleting the iOS from the switch and it was in quite of a bind because I, I didn't know how to recover that image uh, luckily I have two identical switches and I had backed up the iOS's prior to doing anything else so I had them saved on my computer but I had to connect in through the console port and I got into ROM monitor mode uh, and I had to figure out a way to transfer a damaged or uh, a deleted iOS I had to replace that on the switch itself so that I was able to boot it up and you know make it useful again and I was thinking you know there's no way Cisco is gonna make something this breakable and uh, I was correct they have a lot of documentation on their website about how to recover an iOS if you have a bad like a corrupted file or if a file has been deleted and the way that you do that, I'm not going to get into the actual configuration itself here. I might do that in a later lab. But when you start up the switch, um, it's kind of a one of the weaknesses on Cisco devices is you can enter ROM monitor mode if you have physical access to the switch by holding down I believe it's the mode button on the front of the switch as it boots and it's gonna basically break uh, not really break into but it's gonna pause the loading sequence and go to round monitor mode and you can copy from X modem which if you open up a terminal here uh, I can send a file through X modem right here transfer X modem and I can either send or receive from my end. What I did is I connected through that console cable and I, I wanted to send a file, the iOS that I have on my computer, out to the uh, switch itself. And when you are on the switch, you will do a uh, command, just basically like copy X modem to flash or something like that. I can't remember the exact command. But what that's going to do is tell the switch to start listening for a file transfer through X modem. And then once you're uh, on your 
terminal prompt here and send the file or transfer it, it's going to start sending that file bit by bit out to the switch and uh, and essentially recover and place that file back into the flash or wherever you need it and then you can boot from the flash so that was really helpful for me I just wanted to run that past you in case you are in a situation where you have a damaged iOS image or if you've had one that's been deleted you're not out of luck Cisco you know they've made their devices uh, so that they're resilient and they can recover any lost files that you have but uh, the requirement is that you do have that image backed up so I would recommend that once you get a new device back up your files uh, especially the image put it in a safe place maybe two or three different places just so you have redundancy and uh, it is possible to get that file back through an X modem transfer. The transfer is going to be god awful slow if you use the 9600 baud rate, which is the default default setting when you connect through a console cable, and you can actually uh, modify the baud rate up to 115k and send it. It's faster, but it's still pretty slow. I think it took somewhere around 15 or 20 minutes to send that uh, 3 megabyte file out to the switch so like I said look into it if you are in that situation and you need to recover a file where you're stuck in ROM on mode uh, Cisco's website has that documentation I might throw the link up on my YouTube page or you can always email me at bowlermj at yahoo.com so I hope this has uh, been some sort of help to you. If you have any requests on future videos or need help with anything, you can go ahead and shoot, shoot me an email. I look forward to seeing you in some of my future labs, and uh, thank you.